might get this finish line shot of Lionel Sanders. Much different than the last time he crossed the line at Didi. Does he look happy or what? We don't see this out of Lionel that often, honestly. I mean, you talk about emotion, and this is, I mean, he's hurting some hands. Dude, ice. Like, fans, take your hands away. Lionel's going to break your hand. <laughs> I need ice on this. Oh, goodness gracious. Look at the grit. There he is, and there is your athletic brewing Ironman 70.3. He's back. back everyone to another video on the channel just finished up a four and a half hour ride and i am currently about to go on a run with who i just learned is the fastest uh 50k runner in the country yeah for 2024 yeah would you look at that <laughs> what did you run last weekend uh 258 uh for 50k what uh, what's the average minute per mile uh, i ran uh 543 for 31 miles yeah <laughs> Yeah, this, we're not going to be running that far or fast today, that's for <laughs> sure. Um, but we got a track workout today actually off of a four and a half hour pretty hard bike. So we are going to be headed to the track. Got, I have four by 1K, then four by 800 with some rest. Um, for this guy, it's going to be a recovery day for him. But um, as I mentioned, I just uh, finished up the ride. And because I am trying to practice healing for Ironman Texas, I'm about to down... 75 to 80 grams of carbs right now and then i'm gonna put the nerd belt on with some more carbs in it and then we'll be uh, headed to the track and uh yeah hopefully have a good run we had a crap swim this morning that i'm not even gonna talk about uh good bike and uh yeah shout out to oh also speaking of swimming yeah <laughs> lionel he had a uh, shout out to lionel he had a great day so lionel if you're watching this congrats man um <laughs> good work now just do that again at kona <laughs> Mom, what are you cooking? Uh, potato dumplings. Potato dumplings. Bacon. I will not be having potato dumplings before I go because even though that is full with carbohydrates, it will not be on course. So I'm going to be fueling with some uh, fuel, raw endurance fuel. You can use my code NVDM to save. Each scoop has 24 grams of carbs and 300 milligrams of sodium. I have a link to their website down below. And using that code does help support me. So truly do appreciate it. In the powder, yeah, yeah. yeah. Did you try it? Good. Yeah, yeah. Code on EDM. Stays 15%. <laughs> This is for Ellie. Everybody is on shot. Subscribers to technically second. Warm up all done, made it to the track. So first up we got four by one K. No one is coming, but he's bonking a little bit. <laughs> I think he's still recovering from his 50K. But yeah, we got four by one K with uh, I think uh, 12 or 200 rest, so 200 jog recovery. So each interval should be about 0.75 miles. And then we'll take a little bit of a jog break, 800 or so, and then finish off with some more 800. So. Yeah, we're gonna. It's windy today. We got a pretty big headwind on one direction and uh, obviously a tailwind the other way. So we'll start off around 540 pace or so. 
and see how that feels. Hopefully get a little faster than 540 pace, but yeah, I'll see how the light feels. Pace. I'm still full from how hundred grams I counted. Not bad. Finish up the 4K reps and now we got some hawks that are circling above us in case we uh, pass out here. No one had a close call there. <laughs> I got a Gatorade in them. Uh, feeling pretty good. Uh, I think we went out a little too quick though. We're at a 512 pace and yeah, if there's anything I learned while I was training up in Canada last year, it's that once uh, once one of the intervals is slower than the previous one, you're done. So we got, uh, we'll see how these 800s go. Uh, well, it's five, so 510 pace is uh, two, 240, two, 235. 235 yeah. Oh boy. Yeah, it's getting close to uh, VO2 max for me. <laughs> All right. I think my aid, I stretched my 800 jog rest uh, long enough. Now I was talking to Nolan. My coach wrote 800 jog and 200 jog recovery in between each. And you know, if it takes you five, 10 minutes to jog 200 meters, you know, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All right, let's, uh, let's get down to business. Shout out to Glen Hill Elementary School for providing today's uh, snacks. Two twenty-seven, baby. Let's go. Last set. Last set. <laughs> oh, let's go. And just like that, we are back home, all cooled down. Now we're about to warm back up in the sauna. <laughs> but hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did and want to see more, want to see how I end up doing it, Ironman Texas, find out if I drown or not coming out of the water. Go ahead, hit that subscribe button. <laughs> I truly appreciate it. And uh, big thanks to Nolan for coming out and helping me film this video. I think that's about to do it. But yeah, I guess or I guess I can do a quick recap. Um, the swim, yeah, I swam this morning. Not going to talk about that. Bike ended up going really well. Fueled well. Felt good coming off the bike. Um, then as you guys saw, 80 grams of carbs right off the bike. And then during the run, I had that 60 gram carb gel and another 30 grams from those crazins. Stomach felt good. And let's see, ooh, let's see. Run just loaded. What did this Garmin say? Garmin says I had a VO2 max workout. So 3.6 aerobic and 2.0 anaerobic training effect. So plus seven performance condition, very happy with that. <laughs> Um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you want to see next. I think I'm actually going to be doing uh, in the live series once again of some athletes that I will also be at Ironman Texas. I am a coach with NVDM. If you're looking for a coach, email is in the description box below. But yeah, so that should be coming up here very shortly on the channel. And that's going to do it. I'm going to do some athlete check-ins, head to bed, easy day tomorrow. I think I'm actually going to be at 62 miles for the week, 100 kilometers very excited put for that i'll put the the final week stats up there at the end of this clip here so i yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it and we'll catch you back here um yeah in the next one